Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Jazz Record Art Collective. Thank you very much for joining us. Coming to you live from Chicago, Illinois, the most beautiful city in Illinois at the Fulton Street Collective. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight we have the Luke Malevich Quintet performing from 1958 Frank Rosalino's Free For All. Uh, and as we do with all of our performances, we are joined by a live visual artist. Tonight's visual artist is Laura Shurin. Right over there. Over there. She's on the lower, I think people are here for some reason. Uh, on the lower right hand side of your screen, she will be sketching and painting the band as they perform. And here's what's really cool at break and at the end of the show, you can buy her work. How do you do that, you may ask? Well, I will let you know. On the lower left hand side of your screen, as you might have noticed, there is no cover charge, there's no door person. Uh, we are relying on the audience because we want to make everything accessible, because we want to keep doing this. So there's no tickets, uh, relying on the generosity of the audience. Please be kind and please be su supportive. You can support the band, you can support the, support the artists, you can donate to Fulton Street Collective if you would like, so we can keep doing this. So enough about that. Uh, we're gonna start the show. On drums, we have John Deitenmeyer. <laughs> At bass, Matt Eulery. <laughs> On piano, Kevin Fort. On saxophone, Rich Moore. And on trombone, Luke Malevich.
Thank you very much for being here with those of, those of us that are here in person and those of you that are here virtually. Thank you very much for being here. This is an exciting day for me. And well, it's because this is one of my favorite jazz trombone records. I remember hearing, the, well, it's not the first time I heard Frank Rossellino, but it is the, it's the second time actually. It's the record that I bought after hearing him. There was a cut on one of the Stan Kenton albums. I think it's called New Concepts of Artistry and Rhythm. If anybody remembers, there's a tune at the beginning called the prologue where he introduces all the members of the band. And one of the members is Frank Rossellino. He plays a ridiculous soul that I remember hearing. And I was in high school at the time hearing it in the car with a friend of mine who played just that part for me. And then you know, the next time I, I, I was maybe at a, like a district jazz festival, um, something in high school, and I, I remember seeing this particular record and I had to purchase it. It's one of my favorite ones and you know, I ended up learning a little bit more about it even this morning reading a lot of the liner notes that it wasn't, you know, it was recorded in, in 50, 58, but it wasn't released till after Frank's passing and it was, you know, over, because I believe he passed in 72 and the record was released in 86. So it was a bit after he passed and nobody really knows why, why he waited that long to release it. And from even from the liner notes, it mentions that he wanted to, because it was everything was happening on the West Coast. He wanted to put together an album of you know, heart bop, something that was different than what was happening. Got the you know the best musicians that he could to play it, and you know recorded the album, sounded fantastic, and then just decided not to release it. And nobody really knows why. The only people that were even aware of the album were the the musicians that were on the beat, and the producer, and that that's it. And there's a letter that Frank wrote. I don't know when, or sometime later, or maybe maybe even the same year where, he, uh, where the album was recorded, to Specialty Records, and in the letter he says that this is you know this is my best playing, this is the best record I've recorded, and he played it for a bunch of musicians that said the same thing, but nobody really knows why. Then he decided not to release it. I'm also talking a lot because for those of you that know Frank, a lot of his trombone playing is in the extreme upper register of the instruments. I'm giving myself a break so just to be able to play the melodies correctly. Yeah, the first tune was, and they're all, I think with the exception maybe of one, they're all fr uh, ar uh, tunes arranged by Frank. We'll open up with Love for Sale, and we're going to continue with the next tune on the album entitled Twilight. I believe it's a Victor Feldman composition.
make sure that I give credit where credit is due. I did a 95% uh, uh, of the transcriptions. I know I've had uh, some help from people from Rich and, and from Kevin as far as the, the core changes are concerned. And But this next tune in the album was entirely transcribed by a former trouble employer. Um, I'm gonna make sure I give credit to Kevin for transcribing this next. It's a, it's a wonderful tune, and I think you transcribed it for the performance at Andy's, I think it was. Right. You, kind of, it was a nice, so you didn't tell me you were doing it, it was just a nice surprise. And it's, it's probably one of my favorite tunes on the album. This is Don't Take Your Love From Me. Thank you. 
as this is a very well, it's a short record. There's a yeah, there's eleven eleven tunes, but three of them are alternate takes. I told Chris if he didn't feel like one of the tunes we played was good enough, we can do an alternate take on the live stream, make it more authentic for everybody. That was terrible. So we have we have one more tune in this first set on the on the A side. This one is entitled Christy. Was a composition by Stan Levy. It's also probably one of the for myself, the most demanding range-wise. I'm just telling you that now so you can listen for all the correct, incorrect notes as I, as I play this melody. And I won't solo right after. I'm smart enough not to do that. But uh, this tune's I know Christy is Christy. It's um, ap named after, from what I read, Stan's two sons, Chris and Dee. That's, that's how we came up with the name of this tune. And we'll, after this, we'll take a short break and just want to one more time introduce this fabulous band. Band, we have Rich Moore on tenor saxophone. <laughs> Kevin Port on the piano. Yeah. Matt Ulery on the bass. Yeah. John Dynamire on the drums. Yeah. And our wonderful artist that's with us, Lauren Shuren. Yeah. is right over there. And thank you to everybody else that's also in the room. Thank you for being here, for Harvey and Casey and Terry and Chris is hiding in the back somewhere, I think. All right, so this is their last tune on the first side, Christy. This one's going to feature John Deitermeyer at the beginning. Thank you. 
Let's give it up for Luke Malevich, Quinn Tetnis, Sean Dietmeyer on drums. <laughs> Matt Eulery on bass. Yeah. Kevin Fort on piano. Yeah. Rich Moore on saxophone. Yeah. And on trombone, Luke Malevich. Yeah. That is the end of side one. We have side two coming out in just a few minutes. Uh, it's that time of night where you can take care of the band. Glad you asked. So in the lower left-hand side of your screen, you have it all. PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, on and on and on. Please be generous. Please be kind. This is how we're doing things, and we want to take care of the artists so we can keep doing this. Um, that's about it. We're also going to take a look at Laura's work so far, so keep your eyes open and uh, dig into those pockets and uh, be generous. All right, we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Stick around.
Okay, welcome back, TV Land. Uh, welcome to Side B. Uh, give him welcome, welcome back to the stage. Playing the drums tonight is John Deitenmeyer. <laughs> On bass, Matt Eulery. <laughs> On piano tonight is Kevin Fort. <laughs> On saxophone, Rich Moore. And on trombone, Luke Malevich.
a beautiful, as you all recognize the tune, beautiful arrangement of Stardust by Frank Rossellino. We did it slightly differently than on the record, but kind of the same, but kind of, kind of different. The next tune we're going to do as we welcome Rich Moore back to the stage is one of two originals of Frank that are on this record. This one being Free For All, which he's played. There's a few different recordings of it. And also the last tune on the album, which I've only heard once. There's also one other tune that comes to mind, which is, uh, is, a, is a Blue Daniel. Is that, is that correct? Is that the name of the tune, right? That he, yeah, so it's a waltz that he composed. I don't know if I know of any other than those three that he's written, but it doesn't really matter because he was a fantastic trombone player. We're going to continue with this original blues entitled Free For All.
going to continue with the, uh, with the next tune on the album. It's a great arrangement of There Is No Greater Love. Thank <laughs> you. 
time has come. We have one more tune left for you on this album. It's, I've had a lot of fun being here, as I always do. I've been here many, many times in many different, n different settings. So I want to, first of all, thank Chris Anderson and the Jazz Record Art Collective for, for allowing us to do what we do and for putting up with my terrible jokes and many other terrible aspects of my personality, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, but thank you to those of you that, ha that have already uh, been very generous for towards the musicians, so thank you, for, uh, thank you for that. Please, uh, you know, if you haven't donated yet, please do so to the to the venue, to the artist, and to yeah, to our wonderful visual artist as well, Lauren Shuren, who's here. And one more time, a, a wonderful, a big hand for all these wonderful musicians on stage: Kevin Fort on the piano, Matt Eulery on the bass. John Deitermeyer on the drums, and Rich Moore on the tenor saxophone. Thank you so much. We're going to finish up with the other composition on this record that was composed by Frank Russell. This one is entitled Sneaky Oso. Thank you. 
Let's give it for Luke Malevich Quintet. That's John Deitmeyer on drums. Matt Ullery on bass. Kevin Fort on piano. Rich Moore on saxophone. On paints, brushes, and canvas, Laura Shiren. And on trombone, Luke Malevich. All right, cool. So uh, that is it for tonight. We are back here next week, same times, same channel. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday night shows. Go to youtube.com slash Fulton Street Collective. Subscribe, go to uh, FultonStreetCollective.com, all that jazz, and you will see everything that we're doing here. Uh, it's the time of the night where you can reach deep into your phone or your computer or whatever your banking device is, and please be generous to the band and to the artists and to Fulton Street Collective so we can keep doing this. Uh, and that's about it. So uh, we'll see you, what, what's today? <laughs> today is Wednesday. So uh, also, this is a collaborative effort. Give it up for Harvey on camera and lens, Casey on sound, Jose on intangibles. And uh, that's it for tonight. So we will see you next week. Until then, keep your mask on. Thank you much.